Hi again. So I wanted to read you the story of the Magical Garden of Claude Monet by Lawrence and Holt. And it talks about Monet's magical garden and his visitors that came to visit him one day. It's a really nice book and it shows Monet as he would have been um, in his garden and his paintings. So let's get started. So here are some pictures of some of Monet's water lilies. The Magical Garden of Claude Monet by Lawrence Ann Hall. I wish we had a garden, said Julie. She looked down at the drab river, which ran through the city. Even Louis the Greyhound was bored with being out inside. As soon as I have finished this painting, said Julie's mother, I'll take you on a journey to the most wonderful garden in the world. It belongs to my old friend and painter, Claude Monet. He took a black, a big black train besides the twisting river far out of the city and into the countryside. Then Louis began to run downhill into a lane where a huge wall stood around a mysterious garden. Stop, Louis, called Julie, but it was too late. Louis had gone. Julie didn't know what to do. She got down on her hands and her knees and wriggled inside. It was like crawling into a dreamy world where twisting plants grew tall as trees. Julie ran around the corner and almost knocked over a big man with a spade. A spade is a shovel. A man wore a straw, a straw hat, had a huge white beard. Oh, said Julie, I am looking for my dog. Are you the gardener? I suppose I am, said the man. Come and look. One day, these tiny seedlings will grow into big flowers, but a gardener has to be very patient, just like a painter. Then Julie realized, you are Claude Monet, she gasped. Yes, laughed the old man, I am Claude Monet. Together, they searched for Louis along the shady path, deeper and deeper into the magical garden, until it seemed as if they had left the real world behind them. Under a willow, Julie saw Monet's umbrella, like a huge white mushroom, and there was Louis. He had a blue nose, a purple ear, and one green paw. Naughty dog, shouted Julie. You've walked all over Mr. Monet's paints. I think your dog wants to be a painter, laughed Monet. Look, he made a picture too. Then Julie saw Monet's painting laid out in the sun to dry. Clouds floating on a mirror pond. That's this one. These are actually Monet's real paintings. A field of golden haystacks. A row of wispy poplars, those are tall trees, and a little Japanese bridge. The bush marks glowed like flowers in a garden. They turned the handle on a rickety gate and stepped inside. It was like a garden inside. A garden, a wild, wet, watery garden where willows bowed on a silent pool. Together they crossed the green bridge. Now this book actually opens up into a world of Monet. 
When they rode across the pond, it felt like floating on Mr. Monet's paintings. Over here, you can see the water lilies and the water. There they are in the boat. I think I would have liked to go and see Monet's water lilies. Julie heard a splash of the oars and the birds calling in the trees. All around them, little sparkles like a midday, midnight sky. When they reached the very middle of the pool, Monet stretched out his dark into the dark water and pulled out a flower, the biggest lily of all, as bright as a silver star. The little, a little present from my water garden, he said. They walked back towards the house where Monet pushed open a huge studio door. Here is my biggest idea of all, he said proudly. I am trying to paint the most enormous water garden in the world. When you stand in the middle, you will feel as if you have dived into a pool. It, wa it will be amazing, said Julie. For a moment, Monet looked sad, but to tell the truth, I wonder if I will ever finish, he said. I'm old now and my, my eyesight is bad. Julie thought for a moment. You will need to be very patient, she said, like a gardener. Yes, he smiled. Just like a gardener. When, Cla when Claude Monet pulled out the big watch, six o'clock precisely, he said, time to eat. Waiting in the yellow dining room, surrounded by pictures from Japan, sat Mrs. Monet and Julie's mother. Here you are, little runaways, said Monet. Then it was time to leave. Monet walked with them as far as the river. Louis wanted to just Louis wanted to say goodbye too, but as he jumped up, Julie's beautiful lily went flying into the water, the river. Oh, Louis, shouted Julie. That was a special lily. They took the train back to the city, and even Louis was tired. The garden seemed like a distant dream. But in the middle of the night sky, Julie heard L Louis whining to go outside. She tiptoed through the apartment beneath the balcony. Some something was sparkling on the river. Julie ran outside and stretched into the dark water. She pulled out a lily as bright as a silver star. Perhaps it's a little present from the water garden, she whispered. And as the city slept, she breathed in the sweet smell of the magical garden of Claude Monet. The end. Here's a picture of Monet. He was born a long time ago. He was born in 1840. And he, they say he was the godfather or the, the inventor of Impressionism. That's, and that's a watercolor similar to what an Impressionist painting would be. So now that we've heard our story, we're ready to get started on our painting.